In some parts of tropical Asia, coastal areas harbour mangrove forests, trees and plants that grow in brackish water. These closely knit thickets form a natural barrier against cyclones and tsunamis. Along with sand dunes and coral reefs, these mangroves are now collectively known as green belts. In many areas, such conservation or restoration takes place amidst poverty and underdevelopment. Millions of coastal residents eke out a living from their environment. So the big challenge is how to conserve these vital green belts while at the same time creating enough jobs and incomes for the local people. In search of answers, we travel to two locations in India, where different approaches are being worked out. In the southern state of Tamil Nadu, the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation is restoring mangroves with active community involvement. They assist communities to protect mangroves while ensuring that local people derive economic benefits. We integrate livelihood security as one of the components in the whole uh, bioshelter programs. In the case of mangroves, uh, for example, we integrate mangrove plantation with the crab culture, crab fattening and all those things. So the people will get economic return and that will be used to maintain these uh, bioshelters. In the village of MGR Nagar, that was the only way forward. The Swaminathan Foundation assists communities like this in small but important ways that combine scientific information with local knowledge. For example, the Foundation's scientists have shown how to improve planting mangroves using natural fertilizers. Another method is to use coconut pits and casuarina needles to hold water and release it slowly. People appreciate the benefits of a regenerated ecosystem. Over a thousand kilometers northwards, in the eastern Indian state of Orissa, the Sandan Foundation is addressing the same issue, but very differently. They try to wean communities away from the mangroves by offering economic alternatives. In 2005, they set up a coastal community resource centre at Gupti, close to the Bitarkanika National Park. The communities here have traditionally relied on the mangroves for firewood, building material, farming and fishing needs. This resulted in considerable pressure on the mangroves. Here we are having a very rich ecosystem. But the, if we see community-wise, the local community standard of living is very, very poor. So if they will be given a chance to develop through different concentrated effort, definitely in long run, both the society and community as well as the ecosystem will definitely reach to a new height. New height. The community has been given information and training on alternatives like tailoring, incense stick rolling and mushroom cultivation. And introducing a fuel-efficient stove has vastly reduced how much firewood is taken from the mangroves. They are uh, using this uh, mangrove for their fuel. So yesterday we have, we have the training, improvement, the making of improved chula. So that saves around 50% of the fuel. The housewives are quick to appreciate the new stove. <laughs> Across Asia, a common challenge is to balance community needs with conservation. There are different ways to achieve this.
Asian tsunami of December 2004 dealt a massive blow to countries in the Indian Ocean Rim. It left a trail of destruction in many towns and villages in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Soon after the disaster, local people and experts reported how coastal locations with mangrove forests or coral reefs suffered less damage. This natural protection is now known as the Greenbelt Effect. Today we are going back to one location where it happened, the village of T.S. Petai. The village lies behind the Pichavaram mangroves. When the tsunami waves hit, much of their force was absorbed by the complex root system of mangroves. As a result, the damage was much less. People in neighbouring villages noticed the difference. Tsunami Taitala and the Ari Lula Pichor and Taso Petala, Yendavana Sayam Milana, Angola, Mancro, Mancro Cardana. Cardu Hilda and the Tanira Tadute and the Makala, Yendavana Padipi Lama Capatici. Scientists at the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation had been pointing this out for several years. Based on this, the Chennai-based organisation has encouraged coastal villages to develop or safeguard natural barriers for their protection. Mangrove plants has got its own uh, system of roots uh, as well as uh, these uh, branching systems. When the mangrove grows very close, uh, they just become a biological barrier. So when the water comes in and hit these roots first, um, it, you know, it absorbs most of the energy. That's one reason why uh, the, you know, after crossing the mangroves, the speed of the water reduce, got reduces. Usually, canals are found where mangroves grow. These canals help distribute the excess water brought in by tsunamis or cyclones. When there is no mangrove, coastal areas are vulnerable to wave action and other disasters. During the tsunami, the nearby villages of Mgiatitu and Mulukutere found this out. They are located at almost the same elevation and distance from the sea. <laughs> Scientists looked for hard data to confirm anecdotal evidence from local people. One method was to compare satellite images of the villages taken before and after the tsunami. In these false colour maps, tree cover is shown in red. Close analysis showed how places with more tree cover suffered less damage. This has reinforced the need to develop protective green belts along India's vast coastal areas. We wanted to develop a small model, a community-based uh, at the same time uh, science-centred approach to restore and conserve the mangrove forest. So we started our work in the Pichara mangrove. The foundation always involves local people in this work. Here, in Pichavaram, more canals have been built to allow tidal waters to move freely. Village mangrove councils are managing nurseries and plantations. Its success has inspired a joint mangroves management program, which brings together the community, research institutions and the government's forest department. The idea is to conserve mangroves while generating enough income and jobs for local people. They don't need any more reminders on the value of mangroves. Tsunami wara, yarno oru vesh thakki tsunami wara hum sunanga. Thei rendu vesh thile bayengra boha thei arthuche. Anni gora inga alaygal seatama arthuche. Na ganda karay arthu naala engal kedo mana thein teri la. Inda mare adi kodi vandi yerkas engal tsunami alaygal varu thena la. Mukhya ma oru mara pula nichiya kaadgal varalkono kaadgal varar thada. Yedru varu kaalangal la inda mare yer erolgal arthu. Apatham mudiyengal thena engal ma soltram.